Yo, yo, yo. I'm back, y'all. In this part two, I just made a video about uh whether or not Kanika was meeting somebody downstairs. And, you know, I'm I, I kept watching it, you know, and, and some just ain't sitting right with me, man. So um so I, I want to talk about where I think she was going. And I mean, of course, we still don't know who, but um, but I'm quite sure we'll find out. But before I get started, let's go ahead and recap, because this is that phone call from dude um claim he from Chicago. Shit, nigga, you a lie. <laughs> we know now, nigga. We know now that shit done surfaced. You know, and now we trying to put all this shit together. But, um, this nigga, whoever this guy is that made this phone call, he claimed he from Chicago. But he ain't in Chicago right now. He in New York. But he discusses what they found in Irene's glasses, where it looked like somebody was throwing somebody down on top of the bed or laying on top of some somebody on on bed. And, and you know, it was like, damn, that, that probably is Kanika. You know, and then you hear dude talking about you riding with me, shorty, you tripping and all that shit. And, and come on, man. That nigga was trying to get on with her. So I think what he was trying to do is get him, get her away from her little giddy ass friends, get her alone so he could try to do what he do. You know what I mean? Nobody knows who this nigga is. I think it might be this nigga in the black hoodie, you know, but, but I can't say for sure. But I'll tell you one thing, Maya knows who the fuck he is. Bree knows who the fuck he is. Monifa knows who the fuck he is. They know who she left with. That's why she sent that text talking about she was ready to go. They was not together at that point. Kanika was somewhere else. And and Maya sent that text back talking about, I know, I, I told you it looked like his dick was little. You know what I mean? These girls was in two different areas of this hotel. And I still wanted to know, you know, where the fuck did Kanika go? Yep, and like I told y'all in part one, I believe that shit. I believe she ducked off. I believe that she was trying to get on with this one nigga because he said, you know, she she was on one nigga. You know, and, and probably his boy's trying to get some. You know how thirsty niggas be and shit. You know what I mean? And she wasn't on it. She just trying to fuck with dude. You know, so I want to know who this one nigga is. And I want to know, where the fuck did she go? She ducked off on her own, but where the fuck did she go? You know, that's why I, I think that if if we look closely at this shit, we can, we can figure this out, y'all. Listen to this shit. See, she went down there. You, you heard what he just said. She went down there. So where the fuck did she go? And my thing is this. Is Maya giving him this information? Y'all got to realize that the, the information that we getting from him, this shit is coming from Maya. Maya and his cousin. And, and these are two motherfuckers that was at the party. So they know. They know what the fuck going on. But he kept talking about she, she ducked off on her own. Um, you know, and, and she was trying to fuck with one nigga. I think she did duck off on her own. And I told y'all that in part one. So if you ain't see that shit, go on and, and, and you might want to watch that shit first and then come back to this. So you'll understand where I'm at with this shit. But the more and more I thought about it, I'm like, damn, like nobody mentioned anything about her leaving. You know what I mean? So I'm like, well, damn, you know, like where where could she have gone? And I was watching some old footage, y'all, and I don't know. It was like a light bulb went off. When we see her getting off this motherfucking elevator. Right here. Remember they call her ass and it looked like she was smiling. Remember that? And then when she hit right here, it looked like she's smiling. When I first saw that shit, I, I said, I was like, it looked like she met up with a motherfucker down there. And, and had that smile on her face like, damn, like, oh shit, nigga, here I am. Like, or, or some shit like, damn, nigga, there you go. I couldn't find you type shit. You know what I mean? And that's why motherfuckers was talking about that it looked like she she knew exactly where she was going in that lower level. I think she did know exactly where she was going. Cause she was she she met up with the motherfucker that she she was looking forward to meeting up with once she got down that motherfucker. 
But I think that once she once she got down there, I think that um, shit went bad. Shit went bad. And Maya and them, like I said, they know exactly where this girl was going. They discussed this shit before she left the room. Come on, man. We 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 didn't we didn't been there. Some of us. You didn't told your girls where the fuck you was going, and who you was going with. She was probably trying to really see what what was up with this nigga. Like she probably was really really feeling him. And and for some reason, you know, like I got a feeling he led her down here. I think he led her down here. You know, and they they want us to believe like, oh, now she missing type shit. Y'all know who she was with. So when he, so when we hear motherfuckers talking about, oh, uh, down there, and remember the uh, audio with Bree Bree, and it sound like um, like Bree Bree was saying some shit like, they down there raping that girl, or they down there raping her ass. When I first heard it, it sound like she said. They down there raping her ass. But you know, we got that um, enhanced audio that they put out. So listen to Brie Brie shit. They down there raping that girl. That's what I thought she said. And I'm thinking like, down, down where? I think this is where she was at, y'all. Yep, that's where she was at. That's exactly where the fuck she was. And for whatever reason, Maya and them didn't want us to know that shit. Maya and them didn't want to tell that shit. I don't know why. But this girl, when we when we call her smiling, she she didn't appear to be going against her will. So my thing is this: this this is what this is what makes me believe that she went down there willingly. She went down there willingly. But I think that, like I said, once she got down there, shit went bad, man. She wasn't expecting some shit. And the nigga that probably lured her down there, he, he had some motherfuckers down there that, that was already in the area. Probably waiting on the motherfuckers to get down there. Like, all these niggas is crazy. These niggas set her up. These bitches know what time it is. Like, she could make them. First of all, the freezer's not in the fucking basement. First of all, the freezer's not in the fucking basement. The freezer was in the kitchen. See, that's what I'm saying. This nigga knew way too motherfucking much not not to be in Chicago at the time. Motherfuckers is calling, giving him this information. And he kept mentioning Maya and his cousin. And, and I believe that his cousin is Mike, whoever the fuck Mike Mike is. That's who feed him this information. This nigga even knew where the fuck the freezer was at. They, that's what I'm saying. They all knew what the fuck she was going down there for, man. But once she got down there, I feel like she might have been ambushed. Because we saw, you know, when we were looking at these these pictures and, and talking about, oh, he in the kitchen, the blue, blue jacket in the kitchen. All these motherfuckers was down there, man. All of them was down there. And I believe that that's why Kanika sent that text talking about, um... She was ready to go. She was ready to go. When she got down there, shit started to go sour. And she wasn't on that shit. You know? But you know how some niggas be. They can't accept rejection. You know, that nigga feeling some kind of way. But I'm telling y'all, I think when they talk about her going down somewhere, this is where she went. This, this is exactly where she went. And they want us to believe that they, they, they don't have a clue. They can miss me with that shit. Well, well, my son, well, my son, you do that program to the benefit of what? It might not come back from a white kid because she's passed out. Because we saw it might be a white kid. It's a forced entry. Like, you can't force her. You just call it a black sleep. See, she went down there. And when she got down there, that's, that's where the shit happened. I don't think she was raped in the room. I don't think none of that. I think, you know, as far as her getting up on a nigga or, you know, a nigga getting up on her, I think that happened in the room. But all this other shit, man, I think happened down here on this lower level. And then you heard the audio from Bree Bree. They down there raping that girl. Because I swear she said down there, not in there. That's why motherfuckers thought that she was being raped in that room. I don't think she said that. I think she said down there. 
So even Bree Bree knew something's going on down there. So when you take into account the the um, the fight at the end of the hallway, the struggle inside the kitchen. Come on, man. This girl got down there and was ambushed. She was ambushed. That's what to me. That's what it's looking like. That when she got down there, motherfuckers was waiting on her. She went down there, man. And I think that's where we see her getting off the elevator to go down there. She might, because I don't trust that bitch either.